Now, with what has been widely seen as the sloppy withdrawal of forces and what was definitely the rapid crumbling of the installed Afghan government, Afghanistan has been left broken. The Taliban seemingly in control, but the country is racked with instability, division and violence. In fact, it's so bad that a former U.S. ambassador to Afghanistan says the situation there right now is worse than it was pre-9-11. Oh Soo-young with the details. President Biden may have declared an end to the war in Afghanistan, but two decades of blood and treasure spent in a bid to root out terrorism have done little more than to reset Afghanistan to pre-September 11th conditions. This according to Hugo Lawrence, former U.S. ambassador to Afghanistan during an interview with Aliang TV. After the last batch of American forces left Kabul, President Biden said Tuesday that the U.S. would continue to counter terrorism without having to fight a ground war to do it. But without military and intelligence on the ground in Afghanistan, Lawrence is pessimistic. Uh, and I think we're going to have to deal with the terrorist threat uh, as best as we can, but from an unfavorable position, trying to gather intelligence from a thousand miles away, trying to launch military strikes from a thousand miles away uh, before we could get an aircraft on target from one of our bases, U.S. and NATO bases, in 10, 15 minutes. We were there. We had the Afghan intelligence services were 15,000 intelligence officers, and they were in every one of Afghanistan's 34 provinces. Over those 20 years, we dis disrupted hundreds of terrorist cells all over Afghanistan. With the Taliban back in power, observers fear that Afghanistan will once again become a hotbed of terrorism given the group's ties to an even more extreme al-Qaeda. The situation is further complicated, as smaller groups scattered across Afghanistan's northern regions are resisting the Taliban's takeover, sparking concerns of a civil war. Uh, we always um, estimated that there were about 20 um, international terrorist groups operating in some of the ungoverned space uh, in Afghanistan. And our fear is that a weak Taliban uh, could result in these groups rising up. So it is a potentially very complicated situation. As the Taliban looks to solidify its rule by forming a cabinet, Lauren says it's vital that the U.S. play a role in the process, ensuring they don't harbor terrorists and also form a more inclusive government that respects the rights of all ethnic and tribal groups, including women and minorities. If the Taliban cooperates, we want to engage them and we want to work with them. Um, and uh, we need to advance our interests. But I would say that it's a very difficult situation because prior to that, we had an allied government, a pro-Western government. Now, uh, these were our former enemies, and it's going to be very complex. The retired diplomat says the Biden administration must strengthen cooperation with its allies and work with China and Russia to try and stabilize Afghanistan and hopefully stop extremist groups threatening regional security. Also Young, Arirang News.